Harrisina metallica is the western grape leaf skeletonizer, as opposed to Harrisina americana, simply known as the grape leaf skeletonizer, and Therisomema empelophaga, the European grape leaf skeletonizer. Originally, Harrisina metallica was distributed in Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, as well as Mexico's Sonora, Chihuahua, Coahuila, and Aguas Calientes states. The Western Grape Leaf Skeletonizer was first detected in California in 1941, near San Diego. Twenty years later, in 1961, it was found in backyard grapes near Fresno, California, about 555 kilometers away. In 1975, despite stringent eradication efforts, populations established in several other central and northern Californian areas. Western grape leaf skeletonizers, as well as all other species of the Zygainidae, or Burnett moth family, are able to produce hydrogen cyanide by breaking down cyanoglucosides, linamarin and lotaustralin, upon tissue disruption, making all stages poisonous. The genus Harrisina is a likely reference to the entomologist Thaddeus William Harris, known for publishing a treatise on some of the insects of New England which are injurious to vegetation in 1842, and co-founding the Massachusetts Horticultural Society. Although most well known for its damage to grape plants, genus Vitus, it also feeds on members of Parthenocissus, such as Parthenocissus tricuspidata, Boston ivy, and Parthenocissus quinquefolia, Virginia creeper, all three of which are from the family Vitaceae. Apelantales harrisinae and Amadoria micella attack western grape leaf skeletonizer larvae. In the San Joaquin Valley, Amadoria micella is common in many vineyards, and both organisms are released into the area to manage local skeletonizer populations. A virus called Harrisina brilliens granulosis virus, endemic to Southern California, has been introduced in selected areas with excellent success. It is extremely infectious when it is introduced into an outbreak population of western grape leaf skeletonizers. Populations infected with the virus will have individuals displaying the following symptoms. A lack of uniformity, reduction in size, as well as hatch success within the egg cluster. In addition to discolored, sluggish, wandering, incontinent, solitary larvae that eventually shrink in size and die. Some larvae are only minimally infected for a variety of factors and succeed in developing to adulthood and pass on the Harrisina brilliens granulosis virus vertically to their offspring.